Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Anis and I'm glad to have you here. Let's get right into it. What is self-care? How can we practice self-care? And what are the benefits of practicing self-care? Join me. Self-care by definition is anything you do to be good to yourself. This involves positive things that impact us mentally, emotionally, and physically. So in simple terms, self-care has to be deliberate for us to be able to get the positive out of what we are trying to do. So how can we practice self-care, physical self-care? Physical self-care basically involves activities that physically impact our health. These activities include exercising daily, eating right, being on a diet if possible, making sleep a priority. These are all activities that help rejuvenate our body and keep our body in check. It is very vital that we add physical activities in our lives because physical activities not only impact our physical body, but they also impact our mental health. Reason being, when you're doing physical activities, they help you release stress. For instance, personally, sometimes when I'm angry, I go do a workout, a simple workout to help me calm down. Since it involves coordinating it distracts my brain from that negative thing that was pissing me off consider involving any physical activity in your life as part of your self-care routine mental self-care well the way you think and the things that you fill your mind with greatly influence your psychological well-being so the question is what are you really feeding your mind is it really driving your mind to a healthier state or the opposite? Yeah, Such activities uh, may include like puzzles. Those are kind of challenging for our brain. You have to identify which, which piece fits where. That, that, that involves reading about a subject that fascinates you. Maybe watching movies. We have science fiction. We have detectives. And thinking about the accomplishments you have. You, you have that also improves our mental well-being because if you think about your accomplishments your mental health is going to be healthier it's going to be more positive since those are victories other than thinking about your failures so we need to watch what we think and what we feed our mind Emotional self-care. Well, it's important to have healthy coping skills to make sure we fully engage our emotions. These activities should help us express ourselves better on a daily basis. Such activities include spending time with family, with friends, people that don't put you down, letting yourself cry when you need to. And if you nurture a healthy, if you, if you develop emotional self-care, you can easily adapt to, you, uh, to different working environments since we all come together and yet we are all brought up from different backgrounds. People act different. People respond different to some things. Emotional self-care helps us to adapt to whichever environment we are in. Social self-care. Close connections are important for our well-being. The best way to cultivate and maintain good relationships is by creating time in your schedule to cultivate those relationships. How can we develop social self-care? The key is to identify the things that interest you and to make sure you create enough time in your schedule to develop them or to be involved in the or to be involved in them so you can have an optimal social life. Such activities include maybe making a date, full breakfast, lunch, or dinner with a friend, joining a group that shares the same interest as yours, staying away from people who put you down, making sure you have no time for such people, expressing gratitude. Those are some of the things that help us develop our social self-care. So, what are the benefits of self-care? Well, 
the obvious better physical health most of the physical self-care activities actually activate our nervous system which puts our body into a rest and restore mode like the activities that we do actually force us to have better rest for, for, for example if you exercise you sleep better and at the end of it all it puts your body in a restore in a restore mode and it also improves our immune system hence a better healthy life there is better productivity you see when you start practicing self-care you start saying no to some things and when you start saying no to some things you learn to prioritize when you learn prioritizing you start allocating time to the things that matter most and when you allocate things when you allocate the time according to the things that matter most it brings your goals to a sharper focus so you're able to focus on the things that matter personally when uh, i'm starting my day i always try my best i always try to start my day top heavy i start with the things that are most challenging so that by the time i start getting distractions or i start getting biased i've already handled the things that are hardest and the lighter activities or the lighter the lighter things on my agenda i do them lighter hence better productivity so if you practice self-care you start prioritizing which puts you at a different level enhanced self-esteem is one of the benefits of self-care reason being uh, when you start practicing self-care most of the activities that you're going to be adding on your routine are the things that you like doing and if you work with the things that you like doing you happily do them and that puts you in a better place yeah so uh let's say for instance if you practice words of affirmation if you, because self-care is deliberate you're not going to be talking to yourself negatively that means you'll be doing more positive self-talk and less negative self-talk and the more you do positive self-talk that will elevate your confidence and your self-esteem which will put you in a better place i i, I think that is worth doing self-care healthy relationships with ourselves and others well it, it clearly we are all devoted to different people in our lives uh, that is friends and family and if we do not take care of ourselves it would impact our relationship with friends and family negatively please remember you are the most re you are the most important relationship in your life since you're going to live with yourself forever it is very vital to take care of ourselves so that our relationships with others can thrive and doing something that you love gives you an opportunity to check in with yourself hence improving your relationships with others in the long run increased self-knowledge well since practicing self-care requires identifying and thinking about the things that you like to do the process of identifying what makes you passionate and inspired can help you learn yourself better sometimes this can even spark a change in career or awaken forgotten hobbies and you get to live your best life thank you for watching please consider subscribing share with me in the comment section below what activities you do to practice self-care until next time